What's up everyone, it's Neon Velocity and I'm back with a new helpful tutorial for Gears 5 and how it relates to those that are PC users and how to fix a stuttering issue uh, in Gears 5. And this has been a problematic issue for a couple months and uh, shout out to Bambot on the Gears 5 or the Gears PC community discord, which I'll leave a link in the description below. Be sure to check them out. Uh, they talk all things Gears PC and of course just anything Gears of War related. So make sure you check them out in the description below. The admin is Terry HB, who uh, is a good friend of mine. But the purpose of this video is to kind of be a short video for those that just struggle with general terminology in PC. Uh, again, this is a very short video, so I'm going to try to go through this as quick as possible. So if you're affected by PC stuttering or bad frame rates or anything of that sort right now in Gears 5, especially after the Operation 5, uh, release there are a few simple things that you can do to try to fix your frame rate uh, there's a pin tweet or pin pinned message sorry uh, that was posted by bambot again simple fixes here so all you have to do basically is go to your user username app data local folder and in there you're gonna go to find your gears 5 folder and you're gonna delete the TCP so cache files in that directory so then you'll also delete your game user settings and that's really about it and so what what will happen then is hopefully over time over the next several uh, couple minutes or so after you play the game these fixes will start to take place so in order to showcase this real time i wanted to go ahead and do this for you all so <laughs> what you'll need to do is go to your folder icon here if you don't have that you can just go to this pc and go to local disk go to users go to your username in my case it's matt b and then app data and you'll notice that this is a hidden icon so you need to make sure that hidden folders and you have admin privileges in order to do this so go to the app data folder go to local and scroll down until you find gears 5 and once you find gears 5 you're going to see a pls save and then a bunch of different files right here and all you got to do is go ahead and select all of these and then right click and delete or just put the delete key and that will delete all your tcp so cache files and that will hopefully fix some of the issue. The other thing that you can do is go to your save file folder and go to the config PC and go ahead and find this game user settings INI and delete that as well. And once you do that, all you have to do is just go ahead and load back up into Gears 5. And this will probably show as Operation 4. I don't know why it does that. In this case, I've already done it twice, so it's starting to repopulate itself back to normal. The game will load. Oh, there it is right there, Operation 4 Brothers in Arms. I don't know why it does that. Uh, again, this is a workaround, not a 100% definitive solution. It may help you, it may not. We will have to just wait until the Coalition releases an update for this issue. But some other things that you can expect once you load back into the game is that the game UI may take a little bit of time to kind of repopulate itself and look natural because of deleting those files and then when you get back into the games if it's not looking and fixing itself pretty much instantly do expect to play the map once or twice a full match it may be painful i would suggest going into a custom match and doing so and once you do that you should be able to play the game with no or little fps stuttering and uh, performance issues so hopefully this video helps you out again thanks to the gears pc community and uh all of them in there for helping find the solution and again their link will be in the description below i hope everyone is enjoying operation 5 let me know if this helps you if not let me know and i will do my best to help you or find people that will be able to assist you and here's actually a real-time example of it not working you can see that it's taken a while to populate my information so this is an unedited video just so everybody knows uh if you're new here be sure to hit the like subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video